You're not gonna guess what, I found you lunch. Little catch and cook? How did you find this? Roadkill. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> but uh, you, got me th- you got me thinking about fly fishing, so. Damn, dude. You that's know how many flies you could tie with this right here? <laughs> yeah, where was it? Over here? Uh, Just on like, what, I don't know, in Long Valley somewhere. You know where that is? No. Damn, yeah, man. on the way here. I never even picked up roadkill in my life. Catch and cook? <laughs> I don't know, man. How old is he? <laughs> it was killed today, probably. <laughs> He's All right, not well, he's not like No, nah, he's he's a pretty bird. I didn't know he wasn't like diseased. I don't trust this jersey stuff. How <laughs> do you know it was hit by a car? Because it was in the middle of the road. But uh what's going on guys? Going Here with Elias. This is so interesting. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're gonna launch the kayaks, <laughs> get out on uh is that okay if I mention the name or I'm sure? I don't know. You <laughs> don't know? Well we're gonna be running around this running lake. That's kind of a hint. And um, I don't know, I didn't get bait. Yeah, but uh, I mean, I'd be fine doing artificials versus bait. <laughs> but I've never been here before, so that's going to be interesting. Let's see how, but, let's see how I do this one. All right. The water is like ridiculously low. It looks like it's probably like, what would you say, 20, 30 feet low? Something like that. It's a lot higher than it was last year. I know that. Last year was way lower than that. Oh, okay. Well, the water's low. Never been here. Maybe got some lunch. I don't know. We'll probably catch lunch or catch fish instead, but got to load the kayak up get out there. Let's do it. Yeah, it looks really good. Come on, Striper. There's one. Fish on. All it took was to come to the dam and use my little ultralight and do some micro jigging. And I'm on some crappies. That's a little guy. Not bad though. First fish out of the new lake that I've never fished before. Hands down, I love doing a little micro jigging. And this is always a good, you know, setup to have on you, especially when you fish a new lake or just this time of year when the water temperature's dropping. Cast that little jig head out. I think it's like a 1 16th ounce jig head. And then I'm tipping it with these little tiny chartreuse soft plastics. And if you can see how dirty this water is, you know, this chartreuse probably stands out pretty well in this dirty water. Oh, this one feels pretty heavy. Slaying them, son. Where are you at? <laughs> Look at that one. They're getting bigger. <laughs> this one's not bad, probably like 11 or 12. I love catching these crappies, crappies. There's one. Decent. Oh yeah. On that cast, I like dropped it in like 20 feet of water, then pedaled up shallow, and then uh, kind of turned the kayak around so I could work this little jig like up the drop off, like up the ledge. There's one. Didn't even feel that one hit it, it was just in his mouth. Oh, it's a good one. 
That's a nice slab. Nice slab, crappy. Look at that one. What a tank. That's getting up there in size. Whew, not a bad one. Easily, I would say like, I don't know, 13, 14 inches. After I threw that one back, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know, maybe I should have kept that one for the table. If we get one more like that size or a little bit bigger, we'll probably keep it for a little fish fry. Uh, you know what, I'm kind of tempted just to make like a run and gun back to the truck, cut some of the feathers off that pheasant, and then run back here with like a freshly tied little jig and see if I can catch fish on it. <laughs> you know what, I'm the run and gun like master, we're gonna do it, <laughs> we're gonna go for it. Still got a decent amount of daylight left. All right, back at the beach. I just gotta run to the truck, get the pheasant. All right, let's hit it. We got our pheasant. We got some jig heads. We're gonna try and just tie up some fresh Pheasant jig heads and catch some slab crappies. Okay, we're just about back to the crappy spot. Man, it's hot. So, this long tail end piece, that looks pretty good. We're gonna cut a section of that off. That's perfect for a nice little jig. And then this tail end piece looked really good because it's more like of a hairy type feather. You know, it's got a lot of strands on. It's probably gonna have a lot of action in the water and it also has like a hint of green. So we're gonna try and just get a big clump of this. Ooh, I see two pieces I like. All right, so these two pieces are gonna be the start of the body. I'm using 10 pound Power Pro, two pound diameter. That's the thinnest stuff I had. And I'm gonna start off this jig head just as if I was like, you know, starting off tying a fly. Tying a jig is especially easy compared to say tying small little flies. Now I have it started off. I'm gonna use my pliers to grab the hook. Kind of have a grip on this with, you know, holding the pliers on my legs. I'm gonna take the two feathers here. I wanna make the body. Mount that just slightly above the shank of the hook, kind of right by the eye of the hook. I'm gonna wrap it around nice and tight. If you guys don't know this, if you take your two fingers and do like a figure eight and then pull it tight. That's how you can kind of like cinch down on, onto these feathers. Make it nice and tight. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to tie little hair jigs, let me know. I got plenty of feathers. <laughs> All right, so so far, that's the little hair jig. And then I had a little tail piece right here. And that's gonna look Perfect. It'll give it just a little bit longer tail. I'm gonna wrap that around nice and tight. Thread would probably be, be the best, but I mean, who knows? You never know that this uh, 10 pound test Power Pro might be the next best thing because it's so tough. You know, this jig might last forever. I'd like to have also some like epoxy of some sort to glue down this thread, but we don't have that. So we're just gonna cinch it. And I think that's good. 
think we're good to go. We're ready to catch some crappies. And it doesn't look like much. It kind of just looks like a, you know, a fuzzy jig head. But uh, once we put, put it in the water, that's how we'll really be able to see how it's gonna swim. And we'll be able to test out the action. Marking a ton of fish up here. Lots of stuff along the bottom. Come on, fish. Definitely gonna get a bite here. There's one. On the pheasant tail, and it feels pretty good. Oh yeah, decent one. Woo! On the pheasant tail. Not a bad one. Come on, buddy, go down. There he goes. But uh, look at all these crappy or fish. I'm marking, you know, some good stuff there. Probably gonna make like, you know, at least a dozen more jigs or more. I'd probably make like a hundred jigs with all those feathers there. Oh, just missed one. Come on. Yeah. Marked them pretty good and then had a little bite. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's probably like different schools of crappy that just like funnel in, funnel out, or, you know, maybe they just go up and down these, they're like this bank here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely though, like, some kind of big structure. Oh, there he is. Wow, <laughs> I got a perch. <laughs> yeah, yellow perch. And we were just talking about, before, how you've never caught one in here. And there's proof right there. It's hard to fish any lake in New Jersey nowadays and not catch yellow perch. Very uncommon. Almost probably every lake in New Jersey has yellow perch. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it might get to a certain time they're like they quit or Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Believe it or not, through the ice, I've always did good, like, right before dark with crappies. Like, they, like, they become more active. Oh, here's one. Not a slab, but it's a crappie. This one's, like, seizing out. All right, so we're heading back to the launch, calling it for the day. Uh, you know, I guess like a decent, kind of slow all day out on the water, but it was a nice day, so you can't really complain. Elias had the variety. Uh, you know, I kind of just, you know, stuck to the crappies once, um, you know, I got on them because that was my first, this is my first time here. So I was just, you know, happy to actually catch fish. And then, you know, being able to run back to the truck grab the pheasant, tie a jig head, and then also catch fish on that. That was, uh, you know, still pretty epic. And I, you know, you know, hopefully I taught you guys something a little bit, you know, you can always get your own feathers, get your own deer hair, or I mean, I guess if you see a roadkill, pick it up, but uh, wash your hands and then tie your jig heads and uh, come out on the lake and catch some fish. But uh, supposedly uh, Sea Money Chris is also out here too. Um, I don't know how he did, but uh, it's kind of weird how all three of us are out on the lake. Uh, me and Elias planned it. Chris just showed up here. But uh, anyway, I think we're going to go back to launch site. Elias is going to, you know, whip around the fly rod a little bit. And uh, I'm going to, you know, give him a little lesson. I'm not an expert fly fisherman, but I know how to cast. And uh, he's, go he's going on a little bit of a trip. I don't want to spoil it. But uh, <laughs> I'm the expert now because I've been doing it for a bit. Um, but uh, Elias is going on a trip, 
and uh, he's going to try and catch some fish in a river. He's going north. That's probably a little bit of a hint. But uh, anyway, decent day, right? I mean, not the worst. Not, 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 bad. not the worst. Not bad. We caught fish. He caught a lot. I caught, you know, one species and a decent amount. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. And never forget, live to fish, fish to live.